Well, guys, what are you, Donald, what are you eating? Oh, Obama, I'm absolutely killing a bag of Lay's. If the flavor is anything but salt and vinegar, I'll beat the brakes off of you. No, I'm eating the best flavor. Are you gonna tell us you fat orange? Right, it is classic flavor. Also two things, one, don't call me that again, you dementia patient. And two, whatever happened to Bush? I don't know. Ever since that call from three days ago, he hasn't been heard of. Well, we should do a chip tier list, but speaking of Lay's, we should do those type of chips. Herg, okay. So the start of this tier list is the best flavor, classic Lay's. This definitely belongs in S tier. The flavor may be dull, but I would classify it into the A tier. No, it'll be S tier, Joe. Holy crap, Bush, you're back. What even happened to you? That does not matter, Barack. Real quick, there's no F tier, so I will add one. I changed my mind. Classic is a tier. Nothing can go into S. Next is dill pickle. Yay, my favorite flavor. This is literally the worst flavor ever, Bush. I agree. And this flavor will go into F tier. Now our next flavor is the barbecue flavor. This is my third favorite flavor, and this is my third favorite because it reminds me of Texas. I never buy these, yet it is like a necessity for barbecues, hence the flavor. So I will guess that we can agree on B tier, right, guys? No, I would give it the lower mid of C tier. I can compromise on that, yet I believe it is B tier. Now we have that settled. We have sour cream and onion to rank next. I believe it is better than barbecue and should be in A tier rather than B tier. I agree with that, but that would mean the sour cream and onion will be in the same tier as classic, while it is for sure not. So that means I will take back on my word of nothing can be in S tier and put classic back where it greatly belongs. So next is salt and vinegar. And this flavor should belong in C tier, but I will compromise at B tier for Joe's sake. Well, thank you, Mr. Bush. Your compromisation will be appreciated. Okay, Senor Biden, callanse, por favor. One, speak English, you Mexican, and I also believe that salt and vinegar is going to B tier. Next up is, oh boy. Oh man, Flamin' Hot Lays is actually pretty good, and I believe it can deserve the A tier. Nah, man, that bull crap is too spicy for me. One bite and I turn into Sonic and I dead sprint to the toilet. Sonic is the restaurant, Oregon is the hedgehog. No, the hedgehog, you obese toad. Anyways, I'll agree with A tier for now. Next up is the flavor cheddar and sour cream. I honestly believe that this should belong in the B tier with salt and vinegar. That makes sense. Now next up is honey barbecue. This flavor is on my list of favorites, which earlier said was highest to lowest, dill pickle, honey BBQ, and normal BBQ. Well, this flavor is honestly the forgotten child of the brand because I never see it anywhere. And I say forgotten child like Tiffany Trump. Who are you talking about? Anyways, I'll put it in B tier and now next up is... What is next, Donald? I forgot where the other flavors are because there are doubled flavors on this list. Oh, never mind. Next is Sweet Southern Heat BBQ. I'll agree on the hay tier, but I believe it isn't like real BBQ, but I'll keep it in hay for Obama and Joe. Thanks, George. Anyways, I believe the next flavor is Limon, and I don't know how they made it so sour, so I don't like it. I mostly agree with comatose over here, and I'll put this wretched flavor in the D tier. Well, I agree with the annoying orange, and this is the end of the tier list. I hope y'all as in the viewers enjoyed this video, so please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hey, 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 quit breaking the fourth wall, you runaway slave. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.